Yeah. Very spare of the moment kind of video, this one. Um, so I'm in the middle of uploading uh, the Man City weakness video. Um, and as I'm doing that, there's a announcement from Liverpool, which is FSG have sold a minority stake in the club. Um, this is just the reports that I'm reading as they're coming out at the moment. So I'm going to be a very short one, just giving my quick thoughts on it. Um, FSG have sold a minority stake in Liverpool to global sports investment firm Dynasty Equity. Not exactly sure a lot about them. Uh, from what we understand, the investment is around about $115 million. That's what I've seen touted around. So from what the reports are saying, this is nothing to do with players or any sort of money that's going to be going towards investing on bringing in players, which is something that I think a lot of fans have wanted. This is more to help clear off debts that the club have amassed over the past few years, especially during uh, COVID. So I imagine that the way it's going to work is they are going to be putting this money into the team. The money is going to be getting utilized to clear off these debts, as I've mentioned, and FSG are just going to operate the way they have been for the past few seasons. This is just to help speed along the process of paying everything off and any money that we do get as like as income from say revenue, shirt sales, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, a small portion of that stake will then go towards this group. Now, from what I understand, the 115 million doesn't even get you one percent shares. So this is a very, very minority stake, from what I understand. Um Reports coming out saying the owner's long-term commitment remain as strong as ever and Dynasty's involvement has been described by sources as passive and will not affect the operation of the club in any way, nor will it provide funds for a transfer war chest. Absolutely fine. I think if it's in any way going to help the club but isn't going to affect performances on the pitch or maybe the transfer strategy, there's no issue with that. Uh I wouldn't want someone to come in and do this scattergun Todd Bowley approach, as I've mentioned in previous video. Just having someone come in, help pay off these financial debts, especially <clears throat> moving to the new training ground, um, all the extra uh, staff coming in. We've had a lot of things to pay off recently, especially the, the uh, Anfield expansion. Is there anyone to bring in extra financial support for the club is more than welcome. If it's to pay off debt, that's fine. I think they'll be essentially like a loan. They'll cover everything or part or portion of the debt. And then as we get income, it will then go back to them, similar to the way a bank would do things. Um, yeah, I, I've got no issue with this. Um, it's good to see that people are finally starting to invest in the club. And for all that we criticize FSG, I do think that they're getting this right. I do think they are, they get a lot of grief fsg because people just want to see people who are going to invest money in bringing in players but there's more to it i would rather a club that are financially secure and stable for the long-term future than someone who's going to come in and spend x amount on tons of players and it doesn't work it's similar to how the glazers did things at first when they tried to sign big name acquisitions for a lot of money and it didn't work at manchester united so FSG, in my opinion, are doing things right. I have no issue with the way we're doing business at the moment. And having this extra finance come into the club can only be a benefit because it's not something that's going to affect performances on the pitch. And ultimately, that's the main thing we care about as football fans. So welcome it. Um, I'm glad to see that the club's thinking of the long term. It's a positive thing. Um, yeah, just wanted to give my quick thoughts on it. Very happy with this. <laughs> clearly you can tell um but no i am over, over the moon not over the moon wrong choice of words but i am very happy with this and i'm glad that the club is looking to the future um now more than ever lot, uh, minority stake or not it's still money coming into the club that's going to benefit us in the long term uh, continue to develop the players and just ultimately it, fsg is a business that's run I'm very pleased with this. So just giving my quick thoughts there. As more news develops, more information will be put up. Uh, but for now, thank you very much.